Astronomers have discovered that light coming in from distant galaxies are losing energy. So where is it going? Could it be going to another universe? Well, let's go on a journey through physics to find out. We know that energy, which is a measure of how much stuff you can do, is always conserved. This is stated in the first law of thermodynamics. However, is this always true? In 1929, the astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that like a balloon being blown up, the universe is actually expanding. Now, let's draw two dots on this balloon and see what happens to them as the balloon expands. Like these dots, galaxies move away from each other as the universe expands, without having to move themselves. Imagine if friend is throwing tennis balls at you at constant intervals. If he starts moving away from you, then the distance between balls will be the same as before, plus the distance your friend moved between those throws. Now imagine the balls are the peaks of a wave of light, then the wavelength will be increased. According to the Planck equation, the energy of a wave of light is inversely proportional to its wavelength. So increased wavelength means decreased energy. But what about conservation of energy? Well, in comes mathematician Amy Noether, who created a theory based on the idea of symmetry. In physics, if a system is symmetrical, it means that if I change one thing about it, like position or time, it still acts the same. For example, no matter when I throw this ball, it still goes up and down the same. In 1917, Amy noted that any symmetry leads to a conserved quantity and vice versa. She did this by exploiting the properties of Lagrangian, which is kinetic energy, minus potential energy of a system. Basically, it's a measure of procrastination. The less the object does and the more it can do, the lower the Lagrangian is. It turns out the universe is biased towards this process of lowering the Lagrangian. In fact, this is called least action, and it's one of the fundamental pillars of physics. It states that out of all possible paths from position A to B, the one that actually occurs is the one that minimizes the total Lagrangian. Using this principle and some calculus, Amy Noether proves that any system that is symmetric under translation always has conserved momentum, and any system that is time symmetric always has conserved energy. As the universe is stretching and changing over time, it doesn't have time symmetry, meaning energy doesn't have to be conserved. This solves the problem of why light coming in from distant galaxies are losing energy. Now this topic is very controversial within physics. Some people believe that energy escapes from another medium, or even another universe. Notice theorem reveals something deep about conservation laws. Underlying the laws of physics is a layer of beauty and complexity. So next time something's explained to you, Think a little deeper. Ask why is this true? And maybe, like a Minota, you'll discover something new and amazing. Thank you very much.